levels on Lake Mead are falling to dangerously low levels, and that isn't good news for Southern California's water supply. The Colorado River system brings water to millions of people in the western United States, but because of the falling levels on Lake Mead, the federal government is expected to declare its first ever Tier 1 shortage. KTLA's Chip Yost recently visited Lake Mead to see what that means for us here in Southern California and across the West. Here at Lake Mead in Nevada, the water has slowly but surely been disappearing. To give you an idea how much things have changed right now, where I'm standing is a place I wouldn't have been able to stand not so long ago. Probably maybe 10 years ago that you'd be underwater completely. Right, right, right where we're standing right, where we're right standing now. Standing now, yeah. Tracy Sneathan of Southern California has been boating here with his family for decades. I mean, you look at some of these surrounding uh, mountains and hills and stuff, the water was up where the, where the brown part is. And now it's, it's down, and we've watched it come down over the last 10, 15 years. It just keeps going down and down and down, and now it's almost impossible to launch. As we previously reported, Lake Mead is also the reservoir for the Hoover Dam. And to see just how much it's gone down, look at this picture from November of 2000, paying particular attention to these intake towers. And compare that to our visit in June of this year. It's a scary picture for the multiple states who rely on Lake Mead and the Colorado River system, of which it's a part of, for water. For us, Lake Mead is particularly important in California. Devin Upadia is the chief operating officer of the Metropolitan Water District, the largest treated drinking water provider in the United States. The district provides water to about 19 million Southern Californians in six different counties. Much of that water is delivered by the Colorado River Aqueduct. When you look at kind of an average over the last 10 years, the Colorado River provides about 25% of the water that's used in Southern California. Places like Las Vegas, Phoenix, and Tucson also get water from the river, but soon they may not be getting as much. We're, we're at the point where some serious decisions will likely need to be made. Doug Hendricks is with the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation. He says in August, the record low water levels in Lake Mead are expected to trigger the Bureau's first ever declaration of a tier one water shortage on the system. That would mean cutbacks starting next year in the amount of Colorado River water sent to Nevada and Arizona, states that have already seen reductions in their share of the river's water. Mexico would also get less, but Thanks to senior water rights and other agreements, California's share of water from the Colorado won't be cut just yet. But if the trend continues, California could be next. At Lake Mead near the Nevada-Arizona border, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News.